Happy New Year! Year! Yeah, <laughs> um, it's 2016 now, and we thought we'd do a short film going over all the adventures we've had during 2015. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a new adventure for us. We sold our um, White Magic. Sunfast Genoa. Yeah, uh, Sunfast, uh, Genoa Sunfast 32. Um, big conventional cruising boat. And we bought a small 20-foot... Red Fox trailer sailor um, to do some exploring on the on the Medway and the East Coast with our doggy with our doggy Winnie and our daughter Elizabeth. So we bought her in was it November or December of two- December the sixth, two thousand and fourteen. There we go. So just over a year ago, um, in Waldringfield, wasn't yep. it? Yep. Bought her Waldringfield. Uh, Ipswich. Yeah, we towed her home to us where we are in North Kent. And then we spent three months doing her up. Yep, stripped her bare completely. Yeah. Um, new sails. New, well, yeah, got new sails, new electronics, radio and chart plotter and things. Um, new carpets. New carpets, <laughs> yeah. Um, coat of paint. Um, because she was basically a sound boat, but um, needed a bit of work doing to her tidying up. So we towed her to the Medway Yacht Club and we launched her at the beginning of May in quite cold conditions, in my opinion. Um, that went really smoothly and we put her on her new mooring, which was new to us. It was a four and a half and we've always had a swinging boy before because of our bigger, deeper boats. Um, but this time we thought we could get away with a cheaper um, four and a half mooring because equally, because she doesn't have a keel, we didn't want her swinging around too much. Um, so that was a new experience for us. We didn't actually know um, yeah. how we'd cope picking the boy up, did we? But it's easy actually. Yeah. Without a kill. <laughs> no, exactly. It makes it a lot easier without the kill because there's nothing fighting you. So as long as you've gro- gra- grabbed hold of the four and a half line, uh, there's nothing to fight yeah, against. You so. can do it on your own, can't you? Can. you? It's not so simple. Just so you know, we are sisters, even though she's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> You're not identical twins, are you? No. <laughs> um, later on that month, we had our, spent our first night at Anchor, which so far has been our most successful film for yes, some that, inexplicable reason. That from we had Daddy kept waking me up and Mummy, we, Dad, um, Dad woke Mummy and me and Winnie up because we were keep getting too close to shore. Oh, wow. our alarm kept going off. Our alarm off. kept yes. going off, didn't it? Yeah, we didn't move, yeah. just the alarm kept going off for some yeah. stupid reason. So that yeah. was really good was fun. Trouble, we've um, had to do a few things differently this year. Um, in the past, we've always booked what we call Lady Die at our club, which is where we can steer our um, deep keel boat onto Two. this trolley and literally pull it's, them up out the tide. Yeah, some sort of movable dolphins. You yeah. need an extra person to do the buttons. Do. It doesn't do it by itself. It's no. a whole family involvement. Yeah. Um, yeah. But and this boat, it because it's flat bottomed. Button. We couldn't use it. No. Well, and she's just so small. We didn't yeah. know she so <laughs> we didn't know how to scrub her off, and we're still not sure the best way to scrub her off because she's completely flat bottomed. You can't get underneath. So we tied her up along the side of the pontoon and pulled her over, didn't we, Izzy? Yeah. So what we did was we got some a long piece of rope, tied it to. Another piece of rope. Yeah, where well, we tied it to the rope that goes to the we top of the mast. Yes. Yes. And it. then yeah. we, Daddy and me walked along and dragged and pulled it once we got to uh, what are they called? The cleats on Cleat. the pontoon. Cleat. Yeah. And, we and then Mummy right said stop when she could see the bottom enough. Mm. Mm. And then we scrubbed it and did it the other way. We kind of invented that system. Yeah. We did and it that works twice. for a point. But, <laughs> yeah. but you can't get right under the no, bottom. No, you can't, can you? No. no. I think it would be better if we just um, got a lorry. And... <laughs> yep, so if any of you know and a better way of scrubbing a completely flat bottom boat off it would be very useful if you comment down below so next year we might go a wee bit faster you do you think you've invented a way yes get the thing that pulls the boats out the water and then stop it and then scrub well we could that wouldn't be the cheapest way because you have to pay for that um but anyway we've also uh we did a film of 
our boat, which seems to get a lot of interest. People seem to like um, doing a walkthrough. Like, doing a walkthrough of it, and um, I fitted Lazy Jacks to it, which is another film for some strange reason. <laughs> seems to get a lot of hits, even though it's not that entertaining. Um, but they're very useful. When we all our bigger boats, we've always had Lazy Jacks. Um, but with this one, we were like, well, the main's really small. We probably don't need it. And then within our first sail, of course, the sail flopped straight down in front of us while we're yeah. trying to steer. And we were like, no, we definitely need them. On one hand, you don't need it. But on the other hand, if you want it effortless, you know, because you can choose when to raise your mainsail. The only time they're a pain is when you raise it. But you can choose when you raise a mainsail. But when you need to drop it, mm. you need to drop it. Yeah, you know, if you're sailing into your mooring or you know wind's got up or something and you want to drop it you want to drop it hurry it just makes it so much easier so and you can um, do it on your own and we can do it and i can do it on my own because our, our idea of short-handed sailing is single-handed sailing because one of us is always preoccupied with other members of the family um <laughs> so the other person has to do the rest on their own so uh, <laughs> yeah we like that so anyway um uh so we had plenty of adventures and then we went we had two and a half weeks up the east coast Yay. on our cruise Yes, right, our adventures. Yeah. So what was the first adventure we had? Um, Probably we Queenborough. Went to Queenborough. Yeah. And we spent it's, the night there, didn't we? It's it's no like way. You have to get like, you have to phone up a boat to come and get you. <laughs> and then you, because it's like a... It's like a pontoon. So you go on a pontoon and then you go into land. So more, same moorings. Yeah. And it's not a very big pontoon. Same. So we yeah. tie up on the mooring, don't we? And then the, mm. the little water taxi, we radio yeah. him up and he it's comes and gets us. It's very small. Yeah. It's very and then the next it's I, So, um, yeah, so we left Queenborough and then... And we went to Burnham. We went to Burnham, but we went to Burnham underneath the bridge, didn't we? The Haven Gore Bridge, oh. do you remember Oh, that? yeah, that was scary. That was <laughs> I had to go like this. And she can tolerate it. Uh, by the noise. way, can you hear me loud and clear? Because I can't hear myself. No, no, that's a surprise. We can all hear you, Elizabeth. Good. So we went under the Haven Gore Bridge um, into the, uh, I don't know what the waterways are immediately under the bridge, but into the mm. roach, which leads to the crouch, which took us to Burnham Yacht Harbour or Marina. So. Marina. Um, <laughs> which is probably marina. our favourite favorite marina. because. Marina, okay. Probably our favourite oh, yeah. marina because it's the one nearest to us. It's easier to get I to. have a good it's got, memory. It's got everything you need. Burnham's not far away, so you can get provisions and that. It's got a good a park. Skate park. Skate park. Play yeah. park. Yeah, cra Ridley crazy Moore. park, isn't it? What oh. about that park with the swings? And... Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a swing that there's two, two handles either side. So you get on them and then... You swing. It goes round, doesn't it? Yeah, my mum helped me get on, but each time I got on, when she got on or Dad got on, I completely fell off before they even started it. <laughs> yeah. But on the third try, good chance. Yeah. I didn't fall yeah. off. I had lovely places to eat out. Yeah. Izzy had her first Indian meal yeah. in a yeah, proper restaurant. curry house. Yeah. yeah. And had a brilliant yes. shop, big co-op. Delicious, yeah. delicious, mm. delicious. <laughs> yeah. So, and then... Because the weather wasn't too clever and we didn't want to go up further up the east coast straight away, we spent a night or two nights I in Fanbridge. Two, which was really lovely. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Really nice. And I'll tell you, Fanbridge has got the best shower block on yes. the east coast, bar none. Fantastic oh, showers, yeah. aren't they? But there's a problem. What's that? You have to walk all. You have to walk, walk. Walk, 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 well, walk, 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 walk. To the shops. Yeah. Uh, well, there weren't any shops. No. To, and the to, a to the pub, park. to yeah. a pub. It was a long walk to the park, wasn't it? Pub. Well, and the pub. <laughs> yeah, and the pub, yes. <laughs> but the pub let dogs in. Yeah. Which so we're really we did Winnie! Mm. Yay! Can't remember Winnie, what it's called. Winnie, Winnie. No, it was really old and it was owned by a football, football player. Yeah. Arsenal rings a bell. Oh, I don't know. I don't anyway, know. it's a good pub. It's the only pub in Fanbridge. So, um, so from Fanbridge, we had a sail back down to Burnham. We spent yeah. the night in Burnham. <laughs> and then we yeah, got up yeah. early... Yeah. To sail up the further up the east coast to Bradwell, which we did via the Ray race, Channel. the race sand channel, <laughs> yeah, agree on yes. um, which looked like it was going to be scary on paper. But uh, apart from being very choppy, because yeah. this actually is quite shallow the water, and we were going through it on a falling tide, which made it bumpier, it was actually really nice. Mm. 
No um, worse than the Medway, in my no, opinion. No, exactly. And you don't go far offshore, and we had the sun out, and although we motored over the channel to make sure we got through it, it was a really pleasant sail round. It was. Um, through to Burner, uh, sorry, Bradwell. Bradwell. And we went in through the channel, which is easy when you get there. Don't follow our route in. You've got to stick it's between the wrong. green withies and the red boys. Um, you can't see the green withies when you first get there, so you think, what are these markers doing down the middle? But they're not down the middle, they're down the side. And we stick it together, us three, but mainly Winnie slept the whole way from all the journeys. Mm -hmm. But helped a little bit. When we got there, each time she's like, she wasn't seasick. <laughs> she's very at work when she gets there, yeah? isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, and when we were on our last boat, she was sick once. Mm -hmm. But what we all help when much? we get to the marina, don't we? You help with the fenders, and Winnie well, gets yeah. out and looks out. So. Yeah, she's like, mm. <laughs> So we went to Bradwell. And uh, Had very, a meal there, yeah, very I nice uh, day or two at Bradwell. And then we went from Bradwell further up into the Blackwater to Ossie Island, where we oh, beached. Oh, yeah, that was my favorite day of the holiday because we actually did what the Red Fox is designed for to go exploring and by the ground, yeah, mm. on purpose. Yeah, really good. And fun. then, uh, Mummy and me made with the towel is what we did is we went up, down, and then Mummy holded it up, and then it went with the wind. This we made way. a kite with the towel. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we had to <laughs> really improvise. Yeah. And when yeah. you've only got a 20 foot boat, you have to improvise quite a lot yeah. of what gear. I <laughs> almost made a fire. How cool is that? Oh. We made a fire, but we didn't light it. No. <laughs> I tried to, but I couldn't. By rubbing sticks <laughs> together, no matches yeah. were involved. <laughs> um, so once the tide came back in again, we uh, went. set off again and we went to Izzy's favourite place, which is Tollsbury. It has, it has a swimming pool outside it does. and a swimming pool inside. It is. You have to navigate through some very tight little muddy channels mm, to get to it. Yes, um, and sometimes it dries up too much, you get stuck in yeah, the mud. Yeah, we right. went past the boat that we, ran a we ground, went didn't in, we? Um, it was only a couple of hours over after low tide, so it hardly come in at all. And we had to sail past lots of little marks and boats that got stuck in the mud on their way out and so forth. So it was a bit of an adventure getting in, but it was good fun. Um, and then it has a swimming pool, which is probably Izzy's favourite bit. And a diving pool. board. Yeah, yeah the loves. swimming pool inside, there's a little one inside, has a diving board and the one outside... We got your dinghy, didn't it's we? It's kind of uh, a giant pond, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's kind of like everyone, a giant pond. Everyone plays in it with inflatables yeah. and whatever. Except, and we from, great except weather. from there's no waves. No. And Daddy and me made a, a motorboat. Yeah, we were going them. so fast. So I we? was kicking <laughs> and Daddy was rowing so fast. It looked like a motorboat. Mm. And I ran out. And I then, went out of my dinghy. Oh. The mud was all squidgy though, wasn't it? It didn't feel nice in your tummy. No, it was just sand. Yeah. And it was cold. It wasn't that cold. It was a, it lovely, was it was a lovely British summer's cold. day, which means it was a bit yeah. chilly. But If yeah. we do it again, <laughs> I want to bring a wet thinks things are chilly. With, That's yeah. why Feet. she thinks that was freezing. I did think it was freezing. So anyway, um, after Tullesbury, looking at the weather forecast, it was looking like the Ooh. weather was going to take a bit of a turn for the worst, and we were uh, a few miles from home, so we started to head back. So the first thing we did was sail back to Bradwell. Bradwell, because you can't leave at Tullesbury, can that's you? That's right. It wasn't very far. It's only just the other side of the Blackwater, but you can leave, or oh, we can in our boat, leave Bradwell at pretty much any state of the tide, whereas you can't get out of Tullesbury at low water. Because cause our dagger board, she was can go... I That's can. it, we can come Good up girl. and we draw like nine inches so we can get in anything. Yeah, and our kill thingy at the back, was it? Rudder. Rudder, yeah. Rudder at the back, it could go zoop. Yeah. That's right. Takes it all in. Because yeah. <laughs> so, I know my things that well. Yeah. So, so we went back to Bradwell, then we left Bradwell and had a sail back to our favourite place at Burnham, back through the Ray Sand Channel. And um, then we very uneventful this time, lovely day again. On a again. rising tide. On a rising tide, nicer. which is much easier, so we got swept into Burnham. <coughs> um, uh, we got to Burnham just in time for the weather, which really oh, turned... we had a posh meal in an oyster hotel restaurant, something like that. Oh, that's like that. right, yeah, where really was it? Really nice. Yeah. Had oyster in the name. We should try and... F if I can find out, remember what these are, we'll put mm. the links in the description. It was description. really lovely. Down below. Below. And yeah. we did, you know when you walk in and it's all really nice and posh and we thought, oh, our children going to be allowed. We, did, we didn't bring Winnie. And they said, yes, yes, yes. And then they sat us down. And you get to a certain point in your life, don't you, when you've done the toddler years, 
you don't necessarily want to sit mm. right next to toddlers. So we're keeping Izzy quiet with her iPad and things. And then a family with baby twins and a toddler sit mm. right next to us. All out of control. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I'm really pleased they do let children in, but it's actually... <laughs> oh, there you go. But anyway, we had plans then because we knew the weather was going to turn to go to the cinema and what else were we going to do? Oh, a swimming pool in Colchester or something we were yeah, going to do. Yeah, we were going to get the bus. But as it happened, some good friends of ours who live on Mercy West Island Mercy, I think were uh, coming back down our way and offered us a lift. So we accepted. And we got a lift home for a couple of days because it mm. really was miserable, the weather. And that torrential was... Mm. That was Nanny Jill. Nanny Your Jill. godmother. Our, yeah. Yes. I call her Nanny. So Double. I was able to get all the washing done. Yep. Let us um, catch up on all those things that you have to do yep. after a holiday. Have but, a bath. But and before the holiday stayed, was over. We stayed there for two days and then we came back on the... S- Saturday, sa- I think. Yeah, Saturday. And then we got, we got the boat and just... Um, went all the way home. Um, so, yeah, so we set off then. Did we come home on Sunday or Saturday? Come home Sunday. Sunday. So we set off on Sunday morning um, and we basically went uh, the same way home that we came. We went um, along the road, uh, down the crouch, into the roach, heading back towards Haven Gore Bridge. Um, we finally saw the seals, didn't we, Izzy? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, so we saw a lot of seals. There were some were laying down, some were, some were on the... Belly, some were on their back, some were curled mm. up, and and some were trying to move into the water. Oh, wow. You didn't think they were seals, yeah, did you, to you start with? You didn't believe me. You kept saying, Mum, they're bits of woods. I was like, <laughs> they are seals. And then I saw one moving, I'm like... Yeah. After mm, our holiday, however, we got Elizabeth's eyes tested, and she does wear glasses now. <laughs> yes, because she also I'm just said, not wearing them now. <laughs> she said, look at those rubbish, Mummy. And I was like, that's not rubbish, that's a flock of seagulls. And mistaking a seal for a piece of wood. <laughs> Just subtle hints. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're over there. But anyway, so we, so we carried on. We went back under the bridge and mm-hmm. you put some ear defenders. Well, you put some ear yeah, on didn't I you? Yeah, I got some ear muffs <laughs> while I was there. And then I was like, when it came, I was like, yeah. hold did they help? on. Uh, kind of, but yeah. I needed to put my... It was still noisy, wasn't it? Yes. And and it was I still needed to out. do mm. this. And we still couldn't see the green lights on the bridge, could we? They got. It's, I mean, no. it's a great bridge. They're really helpful, but the lights but that tell you where you're going through. Except from, are we hard have a little. Except from, we have a little help because she said you could go through there. And she did. We radio up and they let us through, didn't they? So uh, this time on the way back through, going over the Mapping Sands, rather than go to the is it the West Shoebury Boy, we went straight to the Shoebury Boy, which is kind of a straight line to the Medway. Um, which is, means you spend longer on the mud, but we were there on a rising tide. Um, couldn't see anything to be scared about on the uh, charts, and sure enough, it went really easily. Just had a pot noodle, <laughs> had a pot noodle, really gentle sail, nice sort of 10 mile an hour wind, very easy. Um, <laughs> into the Medway, where we met Nanny and Grandad again, didn't we, Izzy? Yeah. Um, and then we had a sail back to the pontoon, and that was that, really. We had various other adventures, didn't we, after that? Um, yes. We did. We, we, we tried to find the submarine, we filmed that, and we didn't find it the first time because... But the second time, high tide! Yeah. Here we are! First Found time, it! First time, we, we planned to get there, and we were going to sit and sort of bump in as the tide came in, but unfortunately we had a bit of a deadline because we'd promised to help Hannah's parents, Nanny and Grandad, get their boat out of Chatham Marina, so we couldn't stay there um, long enough. Um, but the second time... We probably left it a bit too late. We wanted to make sure we were going to get there, and we got there probably an hour later than we should have done, so there was more water in than we planned. But we did find the submarine, didn't yeah. we? And on the first try, we lost our anchor in the mud, and it was actually the other side, because Mummy and Daddy were looking that side, I was looking this side. Yeah, and then I around, And then we? I was like, what's that? What's that? And then I saw, some, I saw the line from where the chain was, and then I found the chain. You did. That was easy. We just went that way instead of that way. <laughs> we swung, swung round. Yeah. It was fine. The anchor yeah, worked really well, didn't it? Because yeah. we haven't used it that much. I mean, we spent our night anchor. We haven't spent that many nights anchor because, of course, Woo! with the dog, it's not so convenient. No, just um, We don't like towing a dinghy around too much because the it's dinghy's half the, the size of the boat. <laughs> um, so we haven't actually spent so much time on it in the evenings as we like. But uh, the anchor's brilliant. It's only a little mm. damn fourth type thing, I think. And it's not very uh, big, but because the boat's not very big, it holds it rock solid. Don't, don't have to dig it in or anything. It just kind of grabs. Um, and then that was it, really. We got the boat um. in. 
we couldn't yeah. get it. We wanted to bring the boat in pretty much the start of November, and it has been howling winds for like two months in the UK, in the UK, in the southeast. So we couldn't get her in, apart from an early a day start of December when it looked like there was a break in the weather. So I took a time off work, and and too. Hannah took time off work, and Elizabeth was at school. Yeah. So. But I I fit. Um, we might put this film at the end. I I came back from school when Mummy and Daddy were doing the boat, and then mm -hmm. I filmed the way home. You did, didn't you? You filmed it all the way home after yeah. we dropped the mast and that. We towed mm -hmm. it home, and as you filmed the it. With camera with the camera filming right now. <laughs> and you and with Daddy that camera. took all the stuff off the next day, didn't you? Yes. Was it when mm. I was working Friday afternoon, you guys took I everything so. off the we boat. Took everything I think. Off. Yeah, because that was my last day at school when Mummy and Daddy were doing it. Mm. And that has been pretty much our first oh, year yeah. with Rowena. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. been a good one. And it does nice. show you that obviously our previous boats have all been much more glamorous and expensive, but. I don't honestly think when it comes to sailing, it's proportional to the amount of money you spend, how much fun you have, no, is we've it? we've had a good time on this boat. We can't do some of the things we, we could ordinarily do, but we also do a lot of different things mm. that we wouldn't ordinarily get to do. Um, and of course, the East Coast being full of mud, it's not perfect. drawing much water and not having to worry about I where you I think I'm go. calmer because I know yeah. we're just hit the bottom and sit Even there. if we get stuck, it's flat bottomed, it just sits on the bottom. You're not going to hear that at all. No. So, um, Fact, it's been really good. Yeah, I think even sailing, she sails flatter. I don't know why. No. So, can we also say then, um, thank you to everyone that's subscribed and Yay, watches our films. You. We've been blown away. We've been, really, we're just doing this for our fun. It's like a fun, fun activity, isn't it? If you've been things. watching my video, because... Oh, fun uh, stuff with Elizabeth, she's got her own stuff channel. Fun stuff with Elizabeth. Uh, I do some with Mummy and some with Daddy. And you can subscribe to me on my channel <laughs> if you want to. But, so yes. go and, and by the way, if you type it in, fun <laughs> and stuff with Elizabeth, don't put and, put no. Nah. No, yeah, fun and stuff. Yeah, it's like fun, fun and room. stuff with the fox world. I think she's going to be a great businesswoman, missing no opportunity mm. whatsoever to plug her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank yeah, you everyone. Thank you very much. Have See a you good on the new water. year. Yeah. <laughs>